Welcome to the Further Light Podcast, presented by Wisconsin Freemasonry, helping you accomplish your Masonic goals through education and more light. And now, I present to you, Brother Chris Ludke. Scholars, brothers, this is Brother Chris Lidke, and today I want to explore as part of our summer short series, Psalm 133. Now, this is a part, a piece of Masonic education adapted from the Masonic Study Series, Volume 2, Issue 6, December 2016, and it is Psalm 133 by Worshipful Brother Pat Choka. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirt of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Psalm 133 is one of the most recognizable passages from the holy writings in our ritual. It is recited in its entirety and is often recited without consideration to its meaning or significance to the lessons taught within the degree. This psalm was written after the Jews had returned from their captivity to Babylon. Prior to their captivity, they lived close to the place they were born as possible, which resulted in a closeness and a deep sense of loyalty to their family and their tribe. As a result of their captivity, this closeness had deteriorated, and many of the Jews that returned had been born in Babylon and had no ties to their homeland. The first line, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity, serves as a reminder of the times prior to their captivity. It also demonstrates the need to rebuild those ties and again to draw close to each other for national strength religious ties, and a strict observance to the laws of God. The second line, It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirt of his garments, refers to an old Jewish custom. Precious ointments refers to a perfumed oil that a host would anoint his guests with. It refreshed the body after being in the desert for several days. The historical reference to Aaron refers to the older brother of Moses, who was a high priest. In that time, the robes of the high priest were long and flowing. Aaron was anointed for his office in a beautiful ceremony before this people. The third line, as the dew of Hermon and the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, alludes to the heavy and refreshing nature of the dew common to the region. There is little rain in the summer months, and the dew is essential for sustaining life in the region. This dew is referred to in scripture as the dews of divine grace, and when it does not come, it was thought of as a judgment. The dews of Hermon, often mispronounced as Hermon, refers to Mount Hermon, a mountain on the northern boundary of Israel and is visible throughout Palestine. The mountains of Zion refers to one of the hills of Jerusalem where King Solomon built his temple. In the final line, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore, the writer is telling us that when unity is established and the spirit of brotherhood prevails, the Lord will give his blessing. With this understanding of Psalm 133, it can be interpreted as reminding us that unity and closeness to our fellow man refreshes our bodies, our hearts, and our souls, as a sweet-smelling perfume or a heavy rain would refresh us after being in the desert for days, and that the Lord wishes this upon us in abundance. Though how this psalm came to be connected to Freemasonry may never be known, why it is connected with us seems easy to understand. The whole passage is a glorification of the beauty of brotherly love, which is why we find it in the first degree, where the principal tenants is first introduced where that principal tenant is first introduced to the candidate and in the public opening which may be the first or only exposure to our fraternity a guest may see brother 
Valdir Fernandez, in October 1999 edition of the Trowel magazine, said of Psalm 133 that, quote, It is an eloquent description of the beauty of the fraternal love, and for this reason, much more appropriate to illustrate a society whose existence depends on those noble principles. As Masons, brotherly love is much more than caring for our brethren. It is also striving for that unity of purpose, which among a Masonic Lodge and among its members is an essential characteristic that enables us to do our good work. It helps us to achieve that harmony which we are taught is the strength and support of all institutions, more especially this of ours. My brothers, this is a beautiful piece looking at something that is often overlooked. What are you usually doing when the psalm is read? Oftentimes we're still settling in. Oftentimes we're paying attention to other things. And it's the beauty of masonry. These little details, these little elements that we can pick out and explore at far greater length. I've seen much more written on Psalm 133. Although worshipful brother Pat Choka gets to really the entire essence of it. But we have the ability to look at any one small part and really examine it, interpret it, and start to apply it to our lives in our own way. It is remarkable the detail that someone put in at some point, the forethought to add these elements, to add to the teachings and create the beauty that is Freemasonry. Thank you for joining me, Brother Chris Lidke, and the entire Further Light team on your quest to find more light through Masonry. Are you interested in learning more about Freemasonry in Wisconsin? Visit wisconsinmasons.org to learn more about Masonry and access further educational content and more light. Once again, that address is wimasons.org. Any questions, comments, or suggestions, please email us at education at wisconsinmasons.org. And thank you for listening.